10 minutes till 7 o'clock, Friday, October 29th. Thirty six degrees still. Is that a good looking fire or what? I see the sky is starting to break blue. Something howling out there. I haven't heard any roosters this morning. That's peculiar. I think this is like my favorite time of day. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. All that growling. I hope somebody didn't lose their poodle. You have to watch your pets around here because the coyotes will definitely run off with them if they're small. I mean, they're not going to mess with a lab probably, but uh, they'll snatch up a Pomeranian in a heartbeat. I've never seen one, but I have seen big cat sign. I don't know whether it was an extremely large bobcat. They have kind of big feet. Or it was a mountain lion, but the area I used to hike got closed down. They shut the gate on it. It was an oil field lease. And uh, it's a large piece of property with a couple of mountains on it. I used to hike and practice my bushcraft out there, and uh, they shut the gate on me. So... I can't go out there anymore. It's not posted no trespassing, but you know, if somebody closes the gate, they don't want anybody out there, so. You don't have to hit me in the head. So, you know, if you want to maintain a good reputation, you just don't, uh, you don't take advantage of things and they obviously have reason for keeping people out. I know that a lot somebody dumped a lot of trash out there from time to time and because I'd go out there with a trash bag and pick up along the road, but there was a dump site out there where people were dumping some large stuff and the owner probably got fed up with that. Can't blame them. You know. Uh, I try to be a responsible, uh, even contributing, <clears throat> even contributing to uh, the welfare of his property there. You know, like I said, I'll clean it up, and, and uh, but can't go anymore. I'm not going to push it. So I'm kind of looking for a new place. It's been a year or so, and I'm really theming. I miss walking around out there. I like a place where I can, you know, shoot my guns and set up camp. Track animals. I set up my traps and I play with them and modify them and see how they work, but I don't leave any traps unattended that might snare an animal because, uh, well, number one, that's illegal. I just want to practice my survival skills and make sure I know what I'm doing. So that was always a good place for that. But So I'm just kind of looking for a place where I can chill and we just sitting in many places like that around here. There aren't any really wilderness areas unless you go down to southeast Oklahoma where there's a vast wilderness area down there, but it's too far away for me to go just to practice a little bushcraft. You guys that have it right in your backyards, I envy you. You know, Jeff, Cutlery Lover, man, he can step out there and he's in the woods. I have to do some traveling before I can get in the woods. But it's worth it every time. But to travel all the way to southeast Oklahoma to set up some 
think of four deadfalls, you know, and light a fire, that's, that's a, a pretty good ways to go. So, I do want to go camping down there. I, there's a big foot in them there woods. <laughs> so they say, there's a town called Honubi, which is spelled Honobia, but somehow it comes to be pronounced Honubi. But they actually have a Bigfoot festival every year. And there's been a lot of sightings like that around that area. So I am really aching to go and do some camping out there, do some solo camping in Bigfoot country. <laughs> Maybe he'll throw a rock in my camp or join me at my fire. Who knows? Man, the sun is starting to break. The sky is turning blue. I can even just see a few clouds up there. So. I'll be firing the grill up before you know it. Firing up that griddle. Cast iron cooking, man. It's the only way to go when you're outside. It's heavy gear to pack in, so don't be packing it in. I've got a, got a truck. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be packing it in, though. I'll drive it in in the truck.
my griddle isn't level. So I have to redistribute that oil a little bit every once in a while. <clears throat> Kids, I don't think I can eat any more than that. If I wasn't alone, I'd, I'd have uh, somebody to eat the rest of that up. Too bad you guys aren't here. I can't be held responsible. Things I say. Oh, I am joy. That's all. Oh, yes, my Things friends. I see. It is going to be good. For I am just a vessel in vain. This is Aunt Jemima's country rich recipe here. No bow down. Be busy again. Be back in a minute. They're all standing. These are good enough to deserve a close up. It's the part I hate. Tearing down everything and then trying to get it back in that little bitty bag. My yeah. Got me on the run Towards my connection With everyone My ideals Have got me on Oh, in vain.